So this video demonstrates the planning of a transposition flap for a lower limb defect. Now this is a proximal tibial defect. Some surgeons prefer to triangularize their defects for plannings, but for lower limb, I don't triangularize my defect. I will demonstrate how we plan a transposition flap for a tibial defect. Now like for all flaps, the first step is to mark the important relevant anatomical landmarks. So we mark the medial border of the tibia. We don't want our incisions to encroach on the tibia. So this is the medial border of the fin of the tibia. Second step is to mark the axis of the posterior tibial artery. This is generally 2.5 centimeters medial to the medial border of tibia. So once the axis is marked, somewhere near the base, we want to identify a good perforator. So let us assume that we have Doppler data and we have found a good